So we're back again today to do a STEAM activity where um, you can do something really fun and simple um, in honor of Mother's Day or that special woman that's really um, important in your life and do something really nice for them. And it's really easy and simple as well. So STEAM is something that kind of incorporates lots of different aspects of science and art and engineering and math. And it's a great way to show how all those disciplines are um, interrelated and use each other. So we're going to do um, a science and math activity to kind of set it up. And then the art part is where you get to bring in your creativity and do something really nice for that um, mother in your life. So what we're going to use, a couple of things, um, we're going to make some paintable um, sidewalk chalk. Okay. So um, you need some cornstarch and you need some water. Okay, so um, check in the cupboards for those. And then in order to make different colors, you're also going to need some um, food coloring. Okay, so pretty simple on the ingredient list. Um, your artist's palette can be, I'll show you down here, can be a little muffin tin. And that way it kind of keeps all of your colors together. So the way we're going to set this up, the science part, we're going to make a solution with our water and our cornstarch. And then we're going to add our color so we can have um, some color in our paints. So when we mix the cornstarch and the water together, they blend together, they mix together, they don't stay separate. So we're going to use that ability and we're going to also harness the power of the sun and use part of the water cycle to evaporate or make that water essentially disappear from where we paint it on the ground and be absorbed back as water vapor up into the air and that's going to dry it out so our paint is dry and it's not going to run and you can make a really cool design for mother's day so i've got about a half a cup of water in each of these muffin tins they're a little bit larger than a standard muffin tin so you can kind of use that's where the math comes in maybe some proportions um, if you don't have a large muffin tin you scale back your quantities a little bit they're about half full of water then we're going to take our cornstarch and this is going to be kind of the base of our our chalk okay so um, if you look at cornstarch it is it's it's white it's kind of powdery looking so this is going to essentially be our paint and so we're going to use the water to be able to paint it onto a sidewalk or a driveway and then we want that to dry that water to dry out so all we're left with is our cornstarch and the color that we add so they're about half full of water and i'm going to use um, a teaspoon it kind of depends. You can play around with this. This is the experimentation part. Do you want your colors to be pretty light and kind of pastel color? Or do you want them really thick? Okay, so if you want really thick paints, you probably want to use about the same amount of cornstarch as your water. If you want kind of thin paints like a watercolor, you're going to use a little bit less cornstarch. Okay, so I've got about four teaspoons in now. And it's going to be kind of clumpy, so you have to stir it up really well to get that water and that cornstarch to really mix all the way together. So we're going to mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. It's kind of lumpy on the bottom, so you got to mix really well so that um, they completely dissolve together to make our solution. So that could be where you have some help, um, you know, to help stir each one, and you're going to get those mixed together. Okay. So I'm going to do that for each one. I think about four teaspoons was good for what I want. I don't want super thin paint, but I want to be able to see it. So I'm going to do about four. Okay, add each one. Our recipe here is pretty flexible. So like I said, you can kind of test it out. Do one, see if you like the consistency and how it paints. And then if you want, you can add more to adjust. Okay, so last one here. And then we get to decide what colors we want. So this is also where some of our science knowledge comes into play um, because we can mix colors together, as you probably know. So we can, even though I only have four um, pieces of food coloring, four little tubes, we can combine those together and make different colors. Okay, so I'm stirring these. And we'll stir them a little bit more as we add the food coloring. 
gonna start getting it ready here. Let's stir with this. Really lumpy on the bottom. So you wanna stir, 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 stir really good. Okay, so now we've got our blank chalk paint here and we need to add our colors. So I'm gonna start. So you wanna add them one drop at a time. And um, if you want darker colors, you're gonna add more drops. So I'm gonna make one red. We do four drops. We can see that is now combining into our cornstarch and water solution. And it's a little bit pink, so if you want like a true red, you just gotta add more drops. So maybe see what color what colors your mom likes best and create those colors for her. All right, so now I've got my yellow. So maybe I can make some flowers. Lots of pollen in the air right now because spring is here. So that could be in the pollen for my flowers. Okay, I've got a green. I'm gonna need that for my leaves of my flowers. It's like you can make a whole bouquet for mom right on the sidewalk. Won't even have to water it. All right, that's good. Blue, and then can you guess what colors I'm gonna combine? For my last two, I think I'm gonna make purple and orange. That's a nice blue. Okay. So, purple is fun color. Let's see how dark my purple is going to be. Nice lavender color purple there, maybe a little more red. do one more blue. Okay. Then orange. It's fun in itself. It's not even our art project yet. Okay, so there's a nice purple. And let's make our final color here. we go. All right, so the these are pretty much ready to go. I can I've been stirring them really well and I can feel that all those clumps of cornstarch on the bottom have been mixed really well to make a great solution. The next step is going to be to go outside and find a sidewalk or a driveway um, or a patio and we're going to do the art part of our project next um, for our STEAM activity. So we've got Drew, he's in fifth grade, and Connor, he is in second grade, and they are going to show you how our paintable sidewalk chalk works. They're going to demonstrate some designs for Mother's Day. So, all right, boys, what are you going to um, design today? Um, I'm going to put like a heart that says Happy Mother's Day. All right, Connor, what are you going to do? You're going to think maybe some different designs to decorate? I'm actually going to put some designs. All right, let's see what you got. Learning 
about this stuff? It's not drying. How does the water come back down out from the air? Um, what are some different ways? It's too heavy. Yeah. It usually um, starts falling back down. Do you know what the fancy word for that is?